you're hiking, you're hunting, you want to carry something that's light, doesn't need to be refrigerated, is simple to make, and it's also a delicious food. Well, today I'm going to show you how to bring along one of the most delicious, nutritious, and fun things on your next hunting, hiking, canoeing adventure. I just finished reading the book called The Company. This is a great book, especially if you love Canadian history, if you love the history of the Hudson Bay Company. This is a fantastic book. I really highly recommend it. One of the things they talk about in this book is pemmican. And they even reference on how pemmican was cooked. Now, I just read this book, but I knew some of this stuff from before, and I'm very excited to show you. So you're gonna need a few things today. You're gonna need some pemmican. So if you don't have any pemmican, go watch the video on how to make pemmican, whip up a batch, then come back and watch this. The next few things you're gonna need are very, very simple. You're gonna need some potatoes, some onion, and some apple. And we're gonna cut all of those up, and we're gonna start our first recipe, which is pemmican hash. Just another little side note, I have this little thing that I like to bring along with me. Every time I go into the bush, I have two variations of this. I have this little pocket uh, spice thing, which just carries all my little vials of, of spices. But I also have a little tin box. Now this is a great thing to bring along because it's uh, compact, it looks really cool, really old, and you can fit in some spices like pepper, paprika, ginger, salt, uh, all those kind of things, and even some bay leaves, which is gonna be important if you wanna spice up your pemmican recipes as you're experimenting. But let's get started because really on its own, it's fairly simple. The pemmican is already ready to go. We need to chop up the potatoes, chop up the apple, chop up the onion. So let's do that. Okay, now that we got all of our ingredients ready, it's really simple. First, you just throw them in the pan. Start frying it up. See, if you remember how to make pemmican, pemmican is equal parts fat. Which means you don't have to add butter, grease, oil, anything. It all comes along in the pemmican. So we're just going to throw everything in the pan and turn off the heat and start frying it. One of my favorite things about making pemmican hash is that it's just so simple to take the leftovers from it if you make too much or you make it in the morning. And you just add water to it, a couple bay leaves, maybe a few different spices. Leave it in the pot, cooking while you're out hunting or whatever, and you come back and you have a delicious soup. Which if you make fry bread or bannock, you can just add and have soup in the evening with bread. It's really that diverse. And trust me, it tastes different. The hash and the soup are not going to taste the same. It will vary batch to batch, but I always add a little bit of water just to get those potatoes and onions nice and soft. We are ready, and the one way to see if it's good is if will kids eat it. So let's get our taste testers on board and get ready to try this pemmican hash. Okay, here's my official taste testers. Go ahead, boys. What's it like? Yum. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. Well, there you have it. Pemmican. It's versatile. You can eat it just plain. It doesn't need to be stored in a cooler. It's not going to go bad if made properly. You don't need to bring any butter or oil to cook with it. It's versatile. It can be in a hash. It can be in a stew. It can be in a soup. You can eat it like granola. You can add it into other foods. It's simple whole ingredients. It's beef, bison, any kind of meat, red meat that you choose. Dried berries, equal parts kidney fat, dried up, pounded up, mixed in, it's one of the most amazing foods to bring with you on your next adventure. Especially if you're like me, and you don't really like eating out of those astronaut bags with chemicals and all that stuff, and you get a gut bomb after you eat one of those. So thanks for watching. I'm so glad that you've watched How to Make Pemmican, and now I'm happy that you are excited to try and make some pemmican recipes yourself. So have fun, get out there, enjoy the pemmican, enjoy the forest, enjoy the winter, and remember, uh, I don't know, 